We are poor, we are poor, we don't get money, we don't get money. <laughs> and now, uh, if you ask an average Nigerian and they go tell somebody know this country, we don't get money, we don't get money. Go make the fight money, they borrow money, they borrow money. They could help me see money that cannot be accounted for. Running into millions, billions of naira. Eh? I won't show that money that is not being accounted for. Now so you just they go every day. It they go every day. It they go. Watch this video. You don't see him. Eh, eh, you don't see him. Now, crude oil be that too. Illegal refinery. Modular refinery. And it's only one color. Now, you be that. But make a clear one. When I see this illegal refinery, where they happen, eh? Where they, they, they just show us now. They say now the largest ever where they don't see. Inside River States. I be inside Niger Delta. Now, you be that. Eh, but now River State be that too. Say now the largest where they don't ever see. Illegal refinery. Now, you be that. Eh. Make a clear one. Now, see. People where they run this thing. They are not illiterate. Now graduates. Now graduates. Illiterate if you run this thing. Say with you. How you want to know how they go take refined crude oil? Bring out kerosene, bring out fuel, and um, PMS, bring out diesel, bring out aviation fuel. Illiterate cannot run it. Now people will go to school. We no get work. And then mom this thing. Because people go study petroleum engineering inside this country finish. There is no enough investment in that sector to employ them. So they employ themselves. They find themselves enter south south uh, uh, Niger Delta. Go they run this kind of matter. And they are not alone. They have finance. They have people that are financing them to do this. People that are bankrolling them. Uh -huh. And those ones that then get the money, they invest it. These ones go work for them. They go bring out the proceed and sell and share. Uh, <laughs> when they we are campaigning for presidency. Peter Obi talk something. He said, look, this modular refineries, we don't have any refinery that is working. And these ones are stealing. The modular refineries, the illegal refineries, they are stealing from money. They are not remitting money to anybody. Why don't we form a cooperative with these people? As they are manufacturing, we we'll just employ them, a eh, cooperative, bring them together. Let them be refining. Uh -huh. So that we know that they are refining for the federal government. And then, they will get paid for whatever they are doing. 
in so by so doing and um, it will no longer be like illegal they're not going to do illegal things we're not going to sell them as illegal because they are now helping helping the federal government to generate revenue with their expertise so oh 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 oh, oh they hear me people say like yeah, they're not going to do them uh, the government will then no agree implement them at least it's somebody's idea you know say it's workable as you enter office now suppose work with that idea you are not forming cooperative with these guys and they keep stealing who is losing no answer me who is losing and you cannot catch them either because now their hometown will be that before you they come from point a they get point b to use exit or run now there has been that now they have no in and out navy and army where they call their visitors now they are home now they know the underground where they don't dig where they go from disappear you know go catch them and we are losing money every day look at their farmland destroyed with this oil i expect these people to be happy they have to help themselves now farmlands destroyed they cannot farm the only thing they have is crude oil uh -huh. and they are refining some of them still believe that the real subsidy they are asking for is coming from here because when they refine they sell to their people at cheap price and get their money Oh, oh, now they hear me. They are subsidizing for their people. Now, why if you fight them today, fight them tomorrow? Communities will never bring them out. Say, eh, now, they, now this people they run this illegally. They can never. They will protect them because they are helping them too. Why not create a cooperative for these people? Create a cooperative and save all this money that is wasting. But you say no. Now you want to be fighting them. You want to be running after them. Have you not caught anybody? Is anybody facing the law? Bring, bring. Have you caught anybody? You have not caught anybody now. No. And you stay for me. Hard man, hard man. You don't want to form cooperative with these people. See money that is that, that we are losing every day. Eh? With what you just saw there now. In every day activity be this one. With what you just saw. Calculate the millions there in one month. If you know how much that came out from there. Multiply by 12 to get the annual amount. Then you tell me that we are, I, I will say, civil contract. The refineries that they say they are building, that they are, they have finished, to, they say the one in Portacot have completed mechanical completion. Don't, I don't even know what that one means, mechanical completion. They even told us that uh, after the festive period, it will start producing. Till now, not, not even a single petrol has come out from that refinery. The Dangote that has received about three batches of crude oil, none of his products is in the market. No! And then we are allowing these people that have this expertise to be wasting and stealing. You understand? Because they are never caught. They are never caught. Is that right? Tinobu, continue now. Now money they go like this. Now money they go like after you go say your government don't get money. Now money they go like this. Bring these people together, form a cooperative and save up this money. You refuse. I go say one later. <laughs>